Now, your local weather with the KX Storm Team. We are studying the climate in North Dakota and the different types of weather. Hey, Tom, how's the weather? Yeah, and first off, I need to uh, start with an apology. I mean, I know it's a widely accepted fact that weathermen are never wrong, right? Uh, but I, I made a mistake earlier today. I had a different school up there. It's Glenburn School. These are the fourth graders, and I called them from, you know, a different school. So I want to apologize right off the bat for that. Also, I am looking forward to this. You know, with the COVID and everything, I was not able to do any school visits where we talk about weather. I get to do one with Glenburn, but it's going to be on Zoom. So I'm really looking forward to that. And again, please accept my apologies. All right, let's go ahead and check out the snowfall reports. And there weren't a lot of them on the uh, National Weather Service uh, chat room, but uh, Crosby was th the most that I could find anywhere. Bismarck at 2.1, both Harvey and Minot right at 2 inches, and that really was kind of the average. Now, in western North Dakota, there wasn't a whole lot of snow at all, but still uh, not a lot. In Bismarck, 26 degrees, south wind is at 12, and in Minot, 30 degrees still, and the wind is out of the south at 8, and Williston, 29, southwest wind at 14, and uh, in Dickinson, 27 degrees, southwest wind, 17 miles an hour. Here are a few more temperatures across western North Dakota, and uh, we still have that southwest flow, and these temperatures have actually jumped just since KX News at over there on the CW. Uh, I think these were much colder, so the temperature is already starting to go up tonight. And so uh, tonight and tomorrow is going to be one of the warmer days that we're going to have for a while because on Thursday it's going to get a little bit chillier. It'll still be warmer than normal on Thursday, just won't be as warm as tomorrow. And then by Friday and the weekend, uh, we're likely going to be having normal type conditions, which is colder. Uh, wind speed right now 15 to 25, so the temperatures have been going up, the wind has been going up. And really there's been a, a lot of warm air that's been above us, it's getting mixed down to the surface a little bit, and that's allowing us to warm up a little while the sun uh, has gone down. So that wind is actually helping to warm things up in this situation. This is an 18 hour radar loop, and so you can see, uh, and a satellite, so really not much going on right now, the snow that we had. Uh, came in last night into the morning hours, and right now things have really settled down. And so for the uh, midnight hour, if you see these yellow wind streams here, that tells us it's still going to be windy even at midnight tonight, and then tomorrow morning early in the day. And th that was new. I don't know if you noticed that. There was a little bit of uh, snow that moved through there. So there might be a few f snowflakes tonight. But look at these wind speeds tomorrow. So we're looking at 25 to 30 mile an hour sustained winds, but the winds, wind gusts will be stronger than that. And that's early in the morning. And by uh, 12 noon, you can even see these little pinkish colors here. Sustained winds over 30 miles an hour and widespread 25 to 35. And it's going to stay windy most of the afternoon. So when we look at the wind gust at midnight tonight, could be some areas with 35 mile an hour wind gust. And then tomorrow morning, the strongest wind gust will be off into the northwest. But watch what happens during during the day. Widespread 40 mile an hour wind gusts possible. And there may be spots in there that don't get that high, but still is possible. And then by later in the afternoon, the wind begins to back down a little bit, but is still going to be blustery. So the next 72 hours for Dickinson, temperatures are going to start falling back. But again, we, we have the wind, and it's going to start getting a little colder in Williston as well. So tonight looks like we'll have uh, temperatures rising. So we're going to be in the 20s and 30s by tomorrow morning. And then uh, tomorrow afternoon, 30s to around 40 degrees. Here's a look at the Bismarck seven day outlook, and you can see these colder temperatures. And if you look at the Minot seven day, notice those single digits. There might be some temperatures that go below zero next week. A look at our state's legislative.